hello everyone since our last two lecture we are discussing about looping statement in c in last two lecture we had discussed about while loop and do while loop today we are going to discuss about for loop in such situation where we know the number of iteration in advance then we can use for loop okay for example in while and do while loop we seen that if we doesn't know how many particular loops will be executed in such situation where we doesn't know any idea in advance that particular loop will be executed for how many numbers of time in that situation we are using while and do while loop but over here if we know how many number of times that particular loop will be executed in advance then we are using for loop we required one variable which used to control the loop which is called control variable okay it is an entry control loop we already discussed what is the entry control loop okay now we'll going to discuss about syntax okay so we have to write for keyword over here and inside this for loop we have to write three things first is initialization second is condition and third is increment and decrement what keep one thing into mind we have to separate these three things by semicolon only okay now we'll see what is initialization okay so the loop will be starting from where to where is decided by these two two things that is initialization and condition loop is starting from where what will be the initial iterative, iterative value of control variable it is decided from this initialization next is condition okay so at where we have to terminate our loop or how many number of iterative we have to stop our loop for that we have to decide condition okay so we have to write some condition over here if that condition is true and then, then that particular loop will be executed otherwise that loop will be terminated okay and last string is increment and decrement okay so in each iteration what will be the incremented value or what will be the decremented value of control variable that we have to mention over here that is increment and decrement after it we have to mention body of the loop over here okay inside the body of loop we have to write some statement called block of statements okay now we are going to see the flowchart of for loop okay as we discuss the syntax there is a three thing and among that three first is initialization so over here in our flowchart our first thing is initialize the control variable so we have to give some value initial value to the control variable and from this value the loop will be going to start after initializing the control variable we have to going for the condition and we also seen that things into the syntax so we are going to check the condition if this condition is true then and then loop is entered into the body otherwise this loop is terminated and it is given that control to outside the loop but if the loop is if the condition is true then body of the loop will be now in the picture and the statement inside the body of the loop will be executed after the third thing of the syntax that is increment and decrement so for next iteration the value of control variable will be incremented or it will be decremented and then the control is now given to over here after it again condition is checked is condition is true then and then it will enter into the body of loop otherwise it will give the control to the outside of the loop this is how for loop is executing okay okay now we'll see an example and this example is nothing we already discussed this example in 
do while loop and while loop and same example is over here that is write a program to display first n numbers okay so if we want to display first n numbers it means 1 2 3 up to n how it can be possi possible over here so for that over here we have to mention three things these three things we are doing in while and do while loop separately we are initiated the value for example i equals to 1 then we are making um, then we are writing the condition into while or do while inside the while okay and we are incrementing the value inside the body of of the loop over here all three three things are mentioned inside the for loop only so we doesn't have to bother about mentioning that all three things separately okay so we'll start with uh, this example that is initialization so we have to write like this i equals to one instead of initialization then we have to print the uh, number up to n so we will we have to write i equals to less than or equal to n okay till i less than or equal to n up to that loop is executed repeatedly okay and then we have to write increment and decrement over here we have to do increment because we have to increase the value of one by one in next iteration so next iteration value of one will be two after it in next iteration value of it will be three likewise okay now we'll see how will be the code of it okay so it will be like this we already discussed i equals to one i less than or equal to n and i plus plus okay then we had to write printf statement okay one major benefit over here is that we doesn't have to border initialize the value and increment and decrement separately like while and do while loop over here we just have to mention each and everything inside the for loop okay now we'll see one example that example is write a c program which finds the summation of all integer numbers between 1 to 10 okay this example we, we discussed in while and do while loop what we have to do over here we have to do summation of all integer number and we have a range up between 1 to 10 so what will be what we will do i equals to 1 it is an initialization okay then what will be the condition so it will be i less than or equal to 10 okay and we have to increase the value so that's why we are using i plus plus okay you can check over here we have we had declared the variable i and we are also declared and initialized the variable sum by zero okay then we are mentioning i equal to one as an initialization then we are mentioning i less than or equal to 10 as a condition and we are using increment over here then inside that we had written sum equals to sum plus i so from number 1 to 10 each number is going to going through this equation and summation is stored over here after the body of the loop we had going for printing that val uh, value so that will be like summation is what will be the answer okay so that is printed over here we can check output like this it will be summation is 55 now we'll see some more example related to for loop by using turbo c plus plus okay so we'll start with write a c program to generate first n numbers of fibonacci series first question is first n numbers it means we have to print first n terms of fibonacci series so how can we decide it okay for that we have taken an example if terms is equals to 8 then uh, fibonacci series will be like this 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 3 you can check it is total 8 terms so we have to do likewise okay now next question is what is fibonacci series okay so fibonacci series is a series in which first value and second value will be fixed and that is 0 and 1 and now next value will be the summation of these two value that is nothing but 0 plus 1 so the next value 
is the summation of this okay then the next value of this is the summation of last its last two value that is 1 plus 1 it is 2 now for this number it is a sum it is a summation of its last two number it is nothing plus but 1 plus 2 now what about 5 it is also a summation of its last two number that is 2 plus 3 then about 8 it is also summation of its last two number it is 3 and 5 now what about 13 it is also summation of its two last number that is 5 and 8 5 plus 8 that equals 13 if we are writing ninth term then what then what it will be so it is 21 because it is a summation of 8 and 13 so likewise the fibonacci series is work okay so our first task is input the number of terms from user okay as mentioned into the program generate fun first n numbers so these n number we have to take or these terms we have to take from user okay user will enter terms for example user enter 8 then we have to print 8 terms okay it will be like this okay so we have to input the value of terms over here okay now we have to implemented the concept of fibonacci series how it can be possible for that we have to take demonstration of uh, it over here so first we have a two value and it is fixed so if i am giving the name to it for example i am giving a name to it is a and i am giving a name to it is b okay so a equals to 0 and b equals to 1 then what will be the next value it is a plus B. so if i write like this c equals to a plus b okay so i will call the third value or the next value as a c then what will be the uh, value of c that is nothing but a plus b okay so it will be like this but for next number what it will be we have to exchange the value because this number because this number is nothing but it is a summation of its last two value for calculating it we have to make a to this number and we have to make b to this number okay so we have to exchange the value so we have to write like this a equals to b and b equals to c okay same we have to repeat it up to n terms okay so we are uh, giving the value 0 to a and value 1 to b okay then this thing we have to write over here okay now we have to print the value of a and b over here only because inside the loop it will only calculate the value of c okay so we must have to write value of a and b over here okay now we have to going to write loop okay so what will be the loop over here so we'll start our loop from zero and we have to go up to terms minus two why we have to go terms minus two because our terms already we mentioned first two numbers over here and it is a and b so from our n numbers two numbers is already declared so we just have to write or we just have to find next n minus two numbers only so for that we are our ending range is term minus two okay that will write a mention into the condition so it will be like like this i less than minus two okay now next is c equals to a plus b as already we discussed we have to write this expression inside the loop that is c equals to a plus b then we have to print the value of c over here okay then we have to exchange the value of a and b for next iteration so we are uh, making the value a equals to b and b equals to c that all these four statement we have to write over here inside the loop now we'll see the demonstration of this program into our turbo c plus plus okay we'll start the demonstration of 
printing first n numbers of Fibonacci series from here. I already mentioned the header files over here. I already mentioned the main function over here. Now I am going to write the code. Okay, so we'll start with the declaring the variables. Okay, so we need terms which we have to take from user. Okay, up to which term they have to print uh, the Fibonacci series. Then we have a value of a it, it is starting from 0 and it is a value of b it is 1 okay then we also want a variable for next number that is c okay now we have to write clear screen function that is nothing but clr scr okay now we have to take how many numbers of time we have to print Fibonacci series. Okay, so we it means we have to take terms from user. So for that I am passing a message that enter how many terms you want to print okay so we are just giving the message to user now we are taking the input from user for that we are using scanf function okay inside this scanf function we will write percentage d and after inverted comma we have to write comma and then n person terms okay after taking the input we have to print that first two value that is nothing but 0 and 1 so before the printing the value of 0 and 1 I will just give a message like this that is Pibo Naki series is okay then our value will be printed but to print this value into the next line we have to write slash n okay then we have to print these two value of a and b that is how we can write this so for that we have to write like this percentage d space percentage d space so it will be like this for example 0 space 1 space okay so we'll write a comma b okay now we are going to write for loop okay so how we can write like this inside for loop we have to mention three things first is initialization so we have to initialize the value okay that in a value we have to initialize with zero okay and we have to declare the variable also so we are declaring the variable i okay so i equals to zero then next is condition what will be the condition for our program it will be i less than terms minus 2 why terms minus 2 we already discussed okay then i plus plus okay now we are creating the body of the loop inside the body of the loop we have to write the logic and that is nothing we have to write c equals to a plus b we already discussed okay then we have to print the value of c okay and that value will be uh, printed after this first value of a and b it means this value of c will be printed uh, will be printed after c so we have we don't need to write slash n or slash t we just have to write percentage d and space between two numbers that's why we are uh, writing space over here then we have to write c over here okay next we have to exchange the value for that a equals to b and b equals to c okay now these statements are executed now these statements are executed again and again okay after this for loop we have to write only cat ch that's it okay will save our program by pressing f2 okay to check the error we have to compile our program and to compile we have to press alter f9 
okay we can check there is no error okay now I, we are going to run our program by pressing control f9 okay it is asking us entered how many terms you want to print okay so we'll press it over here and it will give us eight terms of fibonacci series okay so it will like this fibonacci series is 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 and 13 we can check any terms of fibonacci series we can check up to any numbers for example we want to check 12 terms of fibonacci series then we have to print uh, enter 12 okay it will give us 12 terms of fibonacci series okay that's it from this example now we'll see one more example and that is read five person height and weight and count the numbers of person having height greater than 170 and weight less than 50 okay now over here first thing is five numbers so we have to take a loop which repeatedly runs for five times so over here for a uh, range for us is 0 to 4 okay so our initialization value is i equal to 0 and we have uh, we have to go up to 4 okay so initialization is i equals to 0 and our condition will be i less than 5 so why i less than 5 we have to enter a height and weight of 5 persons okay so it this loop will be executed from 0 to 4 because we are not writing equals to over here we are just writing less than so it will uh, loop will start from 0 and it will go up to 4 okay so these two things we are mentioning that is initialization and condition okay now we are using increment operator over here because we have to increment the value okay now next question is how to enter height and weight over here we have to keep in mind that we doesn't have to enter the value of a single person but we have to enter the value of five persons that's why we have to to take input from user inside the loop okay so in the body of the loop we have to take input from user okay and how we can take the input from uh, user by using scanf function we have to write two scanf function one is for height and one is for uh, weight okay so we are mentioning this scanf function over here okay that is scanf percentage d and person height and scanf percentage d and person weight so we are mentioning it inside the loop okay over here constraint given by them is count the number of person having height is less than 170 and weight is less than 50 okay so for that we have to compare these two value 170 and 50 what uh, with our inputted values okay so how can we do this okay so for that we have to use uh, if statement okay inside this if statement we have to write height greater than 170 and weight less than 50 okay if we want to write this both condition into a single if statement we have to use the operator and this is not thing this is a logical end operator okay if this condition is true then and then we have to increase the count okay for that i am taking a count variable and in it we are we are initializing it with zero over here okay now i am increase the value of count over here by one okay so that's why i am using count plus plus okay so this uh, if statement and the body of this statement we will write over here okay In, uh, inside the body loop okay and then outside the body of the loop will print the value of count okay if the inputted height of user uh, each user is 170 and weight is less than 50 then this count is increased okay so for every time if this condition is true then this count is increased so our final count will be in count variable so we have to print that count variable okay so that we have to print over here outside the for loop okay now we'll see the demonstration of this program 
into turbo C++. Okay, so we'll see the demonstration over here in turbo C++. I already mentioned the header files. I also mentioned the main function over here. We'll start with the declaration of variable. We required variable like height. Then we required weight. Okay, then we are having need of count variable and we are initializing date with this with zero. Okay, then we have to write CLR SCR. Okay, then we are going to write the for loop because we have to take input inside the for loop because we have to take the input value of height and weight of five persons. Okay, so I will write the for loop first. Okay, inside the for loop, first thing is initialization. So we are initializing the value i with zero, then condition will be i less than 5 okay then i plus plus okay okay for now i we have to declare the variable i also see so we are declaring it now firstly inside the for loop we have to take the value of height and weight from user for five users for example for that i have to write first first that is printf version then percentage d so i want to print person one person two so i have to write like this person one okay then i am writing inverted comma over here i have to print the value of i but i first value of i is zero so then we have to do i plus one okay then we have to take the value of height and weight from here okay so i am just passing the message to user enter your height okay then we have to write scanf function to take the input scanf okay we have to write percentage d inside the inverted comma then we have to write and person height okay then we have to write about weight okay for that i am just writing enter your weight okay then we have to write scanf function to in take the input okay inside the inverted comma we have to write percentage d comma and person weight okay now we had inputted the value of height and weight now we have to check whether it is whether the height is greater than 170 and weight is less than 50 or not okay for that if height greater than 170 and then weight less than 50 okay inside this if statement we have to increment the value of count because if this condition is true we have to increase the value of count okay after this for loop we have we just have to print how many users value of height is greater than 170 and value of weight is less than 50 okay for that we have to write like this printf number of persons having height greater than 170 and weight less than 50 a uh, percentage d and instead of this percentage d we have to print the value of count so we'll write like this okay after it we just have to write get ch over here okay that's it from program 
firstly we have to save our program by pressing f2 then we have to check for error and for that we have to compile our program for that we have to press alter f9 okay there is no error now we are going to run our program by pressing control f9 okay it is asking for first person that is enter your height we are entering some high value of height okay then okay okay so we can check this how many numbers of time our condition is satisfied so it will give us that 2 because is this situation person 2 and person 4 are the only situation where our condition is satisfied so output will be like this number of persons having height greater than 170 and weight less than 50 are 2 that's it from our program that's it for full loop in our next lecture, we are going to discuss about nesting of loop. Thank you.